Welsh Pembroke Corgi does shed a lot. They are considered among the breeds that are heavy shedders, even though they aren't that big. Small but mighty in everything including shedding. The Welsh Pembroke Corgi has a double thick coat like many breeds, especially those that were bred specifically for outdoor work. Some other double-coated breeds are the German Shepherd, Siberian Husky, Border Collie, Australian Shepherd, Labrador Retriever, Golden Retriever, and Newfoundland, all hard-working dogs, used for herding or hunting in all kinds of weather. The Corgi's double-thick coat consists of an undercoat that is soft, dense, and wool-like, for insulation and a top coat of medium length. In dogs, it makes no difference the size of the dog or even the amount of fur they have as to how much they will shed. The Dalmatian and the Beagle don't appear to have an overabundance of fur, yet they are heavy shedders. The double-coated breeds like the Welsh Pembroke Corgi do shed all year long, but shed very heavily two times a year during shedding seasons in spring and fall and is sometimes referred to as coat blow. In fall they lose their summer coat as their warm winter coat grows in and in spring they shed their winter coat to make way for a much cooler summer coat. The undercoat of your corgi insulates them against both the heat and cold, regulating their temperature and keeping them comfortable all year long. How to control corgi shedding Since you are considering an adorable corgi as an addition to your family, and now you know that they shed a lot, there are many things you can do to minimize shedding and keep up with it. Being consistent is the key to being orderly and not being overwhelmed by most things in life. Any dog requires consistency in training, grooming, feeding, veterinary care, etc. Consistency will also be required to keep shedding under control. Below are tips to minimize shedding for anyone considering this wonderful breed. Brushing Brushing is a must with all dogs but necessary to keep up with the shedding fur of your corgi. Brushing at least two to three times a week when not in shedding season should be sufficient but brushing your corgi more often or even every day during spring and fall shedding may be required. I know that this sounds like a lot of brushing but daily brushing will actually cut down on brushing time in the long run and minimize fur around your home. Using a slicker brush is great for everyday brushing while using an undercoat rake during the two times a year, coat blow, will help immensely. The undercoat rake pulls out all of the loose dead furs very efficiently. Many pet parents also like the popular Furminator, which is a great de-shedding tool. Use pet wipes or a damp cloth after or between brushings to wipe away loose flyaway fur. Brushing outdoors also eliminates fur from gathering indoors. Bathing. Of course, your corgi will need baths, especially if they are outdoors exploring a great deal of the time. With bathing, you just want a clean dog, but you also don't want to bathe too often to wash away natural skin oil that protects both skin and coat. Timing some baths during the shedding season is a great way to loosen and remove dead fur in the bath and even quicken the process. Always use a mild dog shampoo and a natural or oatmeal shampoo is good for corgi skin. Never use people's shampoo on your corgi no matter how healthy it claims to be. If you begin bathing your corgi as a puppy, bath time should be easy. If bath time is too daunting, you can always enlist the services of a professional groomer. Swimming. Although corgis are not one of those retrieving water dogs like the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, they can swim and some love it. If your corgi likes to swim this is a win-win situation. Swimming will also loosen and loose dead hair to be shed. Always rinse your pup off after swimming and towel dry. Diet. Because what your pup eats affects their health, it also affects their skin and coat. Often, excessive shedding can be due to their diet. Make sure their food contains all the essential vitamins and nutrients to support not only their overall health but skin and coat too. Maintenance. Regular grooming is essential to manage Welsh corgis shedding. Brushing their coat several times a week helps to remove loose fur and prevent mats and tangles from forming. Additionally, during the shedding seasons, more frequent brushing may be necessary to keep shedding under control. Health Considerations While shedding is a normal part of a Welsh Corgi's life, 
Excessive shedding could sometimes indicate underlying health issues such as allergies, hormonal imbalances, or skin conditions. If you notice a sudden increase in shedding or other concerning symptoms, it's advisable to consult with a veterinarian for proper evaluation and treatment. Overall, while Welsh corgis do shed quite a bit, with regular grooming and proper care, you can help manage their shedding and keep their coat healthy and beautiful.